Judge Harrington overturned the verdict. All the charges have been dropped. Conklin's testimony, along with that uh, videotape of Rex, was just irrefutable. Now, all I've got to do is finish up a few formalities what, and... What, what about my escaping? What escape? Conklin didn't even mention it. And as far as your illness is concerned, Karen cut that off the pass. Quarantine is over. Just do a little paperwork and you're free to go. What about uh, custody of Serena? Well, even though it wasn't his case, Judge Harrington contacted the family services people personally. You've been granted sole custody. Now, uh, are you accepting visitors? Is she here? Couldn't keep her away. Come on. Daddy! Hey, baby! Oh! Mm. Oh! We're going home. We're going back to the firehouse. And nobody, nobody has ever taken you away again. Mm. You know, we're really going to miss her. But I'm so glad you got her back, Scotty. You know something? Everybody that loves you sacrificed everything. Everything. To get you safe. You know that? You know, we did it. For you, too. Yeah. You know, there was a time that I felt that I didn't have any parents. But I... I don't feel that anymore. And I, I want to thank both of you. You're welcome, son. Group hug. Group, group hug. hug. Okay, a Good big idea. group hug. Daddy, Daddy, you got me. Oh, oh my no, goodness. No. You, got, you never, never. What are you guys doing here? After all that happened, you aren't expected to be on a sunny cruise to parts unknown. Um, well, we're a long way from that. Why? Turns out Rex suspected Lucy all along. He took out an insurance policy just in case he was right. What kind of insurance? He claims he poisoned me. He poisoned you? I mean, how do you feel? Are you okay? We don't know, but it's a hell of a hand to play. Has Scott heard? No, I, I don't want him to know yet. I, I want Scott and Serena to have plenty of time to heal in peace. And besides, we don't know if maybe Rex is just lying. So until we know for sure, I don't want anybody to know. Are you feeling anything? Do you have any symptoms? Um, no, I, I feel fine, except I'm sort of sick that Rex is still figuring in our lives this way. I, we came because I just thought maybe you could draw some blood, you know, take some tests, do doctor sort of stuff. I'm fine, though. Absolutely. Um, let me clear some time in my schedule and I will handle everything myself, okay? Well, I hope every other patient's getting the same kind of attention. Well, we know what happened to the other patients in this hospital. What happened to you? Well, like I said, a freak run in with an exploding can of turpentine in my cousin's garage. So you took time off from the hospital to help your cousin clean out his garage? No. I went out of town because there was a death in my family. My cousin and I were doing some work on his car when the can exploded. Well, uh, you're really lucky to be alive, and that's the important thing, right? No, I mean, you were messed up when you came in. What hospital released you like that? Well, see, that was my fault. I told the doctor I needed to get back here. Thought I was fine. Which just goes to show you that a patient can seem okay one minute and take a dive the next. It just goes to show that you should never diagnose yourself. Mm. I thought that was the physician's cardinal rule. Yeah, well, whatever. You're back here now. We're going to have you fixed up in no time. Mm -hmm. All right, everyone. Back to work. See you guys yeah. later. Yeah. Bye. Do I have to stay after school? You look pretty mad. The rest of them may have bought that story, but no sale here. I want the truth.
no hidden truth here, Alan. I told you what happened. I have seen your wounds up close, and they were not caused by a can of turpentine. And what did you mean yesterday when you said that you were a dead man? I have a flair for the dramatic. I was upset because you broke your promise not to admit me to the hospital. I also made a promise to do no harm, and you were about to die. I would have made it. The hell you would have. And don't change the subject. What did you mean when you said you were a dead man already? I must have been... What, delirious? I've heard that one already. Now, I asked you questions yesterday, and I didn't get answers. I want them now. So let's start at the beginning. You went over my head to get time off. Where did you go? This isn't helping matters. And what you? matters would those be, Matt? Who were the two men who picked you up? Mike saw you leave with them, and he said they didn't seem like friends. At least tell me why you have a gun, doctor. Hey. Hey. How's the patient doing? Oh, fine. I guess I owe you for that judgment call at my apartment. Thank you. Well, it was a tough decision at first. On one hand, I thought, well, if I let him go, a quarter main fellowship's all but mine. <laughs> but if I save him, the world might be a better place. Well, Chris, I'll be sure and remember you in my acceptance speech when I win. <laughs> ha -ha. Yeah. You did very well, Dr. Ramsey. You were extremely sure of yourself. Well, it was a good day. It was more than good, man. You could be one of the greats. And I'd gladly give the quarter main to you. I mean that. Thanks, Matt. Mm -hmm. Got to get to the ER. We'll finish our conversation later, Dr. Harmon. Knowing you, I figured we would. Count on it. Is, uh, something. Well, it's the least we could do. Does yeah. this mean I don't ever have to go back to Rex's house again? No, 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 never, never, never. You're right here, stuck with me for the rest of your life. You don't have to go away, do you? Here, hold that. Hold that. Oh. Come here, my little apple pie. I'll talk to you. Now, I know that you have been scared for a long time, but you don't have to be scared of anything anymore. I'm, I'm going to make it up to you. For everything, I promise, all right? I'm sorry that uh, you had to go with Rex. Lived there. It's okay, Daddy. Lucy was there and so was Sigmund. You're not just saying that. As you know that you can tell me anything, right? Well, I didn't like Rex. But I knew that you would come. But in the meantime, I put Pepper on his food. And when he went to pinch my cheek, I bit him. <laughs> you did that? Uh-huh. Nobody's mean to my dad. You are my little pint-sized hero. Cool. Can I go up to my room now? I want to go see my stuffed animals. Yeah, yeah, you go up there. I, I'm sure they missed you. Listen, I'll, I'll be up in a minute, all right? And uh, tell them I said hello. <laughs> Silly. Hmm. I'll tell them. Okay. See you in a bit. I think she's okay, but I knows what Rex did to her. She seems happy. Scott. Yeah, she does. Well, how could she not come out of this with some scars, you know? I'm an adult, and I feel like I've been through some kind of a war. Well, I'll go check on her, okay? I'll make sure she's settled, and I'll, I'll be right back. Okay. So, uh, how are you doing after that run with Rex? Well, I have a few bruises, but I'm fine. Yeah, I, uh, I put you through a lot. You didn't put me through anything. I volunteered, and I'd do it again. Well, yeah, some kind of glutton for punishment? Maybe. Well, <laughs> how about having dinner with me tonight? Well, any place besides the catacombs that we spend time together is going to be paradise. What's the matter? You didn't like the rats and uh, danger looming in the air? Listen, you didn't have to go to such extremes to be alone with me. Well, that sounds like an invitation. Well, you just asked me to dinner. No. No, that, um, that sounds like another invitation. For what? For this. Hmm. 
Well, well, well. Congratulations are in order. The news is all over the hospital that you caught Rex Stanton. But I was especially glad to hear that you two didn't really split up. But shouldn't you be out celebrating someplace? I mean, what brings you here? Uh, Tess, we, we were just here for some routine tests. Uh, check Basic it. Nothing things. serious. <laughs> well, if there's anything I can do... Thank you. Thank you. Audrey, mm -hmm. I really appreciate that. We'll let you know. Thanks. All right. Okay. So, tell me, do you think there is going to come a day where I don't have to lie? It's nobody's business why we're here, you know. Well, truthfully, I don't care if Audrey knows. I don't really care if anybody knows. What I'm afraid of is saying something about Rex, saying what he's done. Maybe I'm going to give him some sort of power. I'm not going to allow that. Then lie. Everyone has a right to privacy. You've certainly earned the right not to talk about Rex Stan. You're right. And we are just here as a precautionary measure, right? We've been through a very weird and dangerous situation. We just want to check things out, make sure we're okay. But I sure wish they had something they've got to at the hospital, right, for an upset stomach. I just don't feel good in there. What kind of upset? It's probably just tension. Please wipe those worry lines off your face. These are all the records that you requested on that. Thank you. Um, Ellen, do you mind if I ask why you're reviewing this material? No, I don't mind. I'm curious. Well, about what? Is there something else wrong with Matt? Not to my knowledge. Off the record, Ellen? Sure. I care about Matt. Very much. And with everything that's happened in the last few days, it made me realize just how much. I see. So if there is anything wrong with Matt, I want to know. There is nothing else wrong with Matt that I can tell so far. I mean, Dr. Ramsey did an excellent job. The antibiotics are working, and everything looks fine. Oh. That's good. I'm just doing um, follow-up now, you know, giving his medical history a good close look just to make sure. But for all I can see, he's going to make a full recovery. Great. Well, thank you, and... Um... If anything else does show up, could you keep me informed? I'll do my best. Hello! Hello. You're just in time for the Baldwin family reunion. Oh. That's right. Uh, well, why stop there? Let's just have one big... Uh, Party. Let's yeah. uh, make a table for 30. 30? Uh, Joe, Jake, mm -hmm. Kevin, Sigmund. No, 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 no. Kevin and Lucy, you better not count them in on this because I think they're going to be hiding at the lighthouse for the next two or three months. Hello? Hey, Garcia. Wait a minute. Nobody told me this. I I'll find her, all right? Goodbye. You, you got to take care of Serena. What? What? I gotta go find Lucy. What? Have you checked in on Matt? Yeah, he's doing fine. In fact, I should save people's lives more often. It's the only way I'm truly appreciated around here. <laughs> He'll be 100% in no time. Wish I could say the same for Lucy Co. Why? What happened to Lucy? I was helping Joe run a talk screen in the lab. Rex Stanton may have poisoned her. Wow, talk about karma. What do you mean? Well, she'd been playing with fire and going after Stan. Guess it came back to haunt her. Now, what the hell is the matter with you, huh? Joe! Don't you guys have anything better to do than to gossip about people's lab results? Well, I didn't know it was such a big secret. No, I'm sick and tired of you flying off the handle at every little thing. You touch me again, I'll knock your button the next yeah, week. Then do me a favor. Don't be so quick to judge people before you know all the facts, all right? Lucy Coe is a hero in my book. What facts? The way she's been acting around town doesn't leave much of the imagination. It was an act, you idiot! For Stanton's benefit. How are we supposed to know? Yeah, that's right. If it was an act, it was a damn good one. Had me fooled just like everyone else. And how come you're in such a crappy mood? Joe? Oh, boy, from the look on your face, I guess you got the results, right? So he did do it. Rex did this. How long do I have? I wonder what the problem is with Lucy to cause Scott to fly off like that. Well, it's got to be something to do with this whole roller coaster ride we've all been on the past couple of days. 
Yeah. Hey, would you have believed six months ago that you would be breaking your father out of jail? <laughs> well, six months ago, I hardly knew my dad. But I guess we've more than made up for that in the past couple months. Yeah. Past couple days, really, for that matter. What about you? Oh, I was just along for the ride. No, you weren't. Come on, you've done more than anybody. No, I haven't. We all did our part. Although I could have done without the hypodermic needle in my neck. <sighs> well, I think you've been on this in the beginning. You've risked your career. You've risked your life. All for Scott. And Serena. I would have done anything to make sure that Rex didn't get his little grubby paws on her. Well, you were very brave. Karen. Scott trusts me. And it has been such a long time since anyone has ever trusted me. And it feels really good. You trust him too, don't you? Yeah, I do. And I'll tell you something, I can count on one hand the amount of people that I trust in this world. And one of them happens to be a man. Oh, <laughs> He's a decent guy. A great guy. But I'm glad you feel this way about him. You don't mind that Scott and I are hanging out together? I can't control the way you feel. I know, but I can. I can control it. And you and I work together, so if you have a problem with this, I want you to tell me about it. I don't have a problem with this. I don't. Come on. Of all people, I know how hard it is to find a decent guy. Chris. Hey. Hey. I haven't had a chance to personally thank you for saving my life. So, thank you. Mm. No problem. I'll tell you, if, uh, if I had known being a hero would have so many fringe benefits, I would have been saving people a lot sooner. <laughs> What's all this? Oh, uh, that's just some of Matt's personal stuff. He wanted me to put them in his locker, but uh, I've been so busy that I don't have the chance. Uh-oh, the Grand Inquisitor. I thought it was time we finished our earlier conversation. We're looking over your x-rays. What for? I wanted to take a look at the old injury that caused your paralysis. You know, I'm not sure that that's any of your business. You weren't in a ski accident, Matt. No kidding. Don't be flip. I was hoping that you'd have an explanation. What's to explain? Why you still have fragments from a bullet lodged next to your spine. You're not going to let this go, are you? No. When I was younger... I got into some trouble. And when I left town last week, it popped up again. That does not explain why you refused treatment when you were sick. I didn't want to get trailed back here. If anyone were tracking you, they would have found you already. The name Matt Harmon has been in the hospital computer since you started your internship. Well, that's good to know. Because my real name isn't Matt Harmon. Well, if you want something done right... Call Grace. You got it. <sighs> Bingo. I think Matt's apartment can use a little straightening up. Hey, was anybody going to tell me? Hey, Al, I, I just didn't want you to worry about me. Actually, we were hoping against hope that it wasn't true. Do we know what kind of poison this is? Oh, right. Mm -hmm. Rex, just let me know right away. No. Hey, guys, I'm sorry it took so long. I wanted to double-check a few things first. So, what's the verdict? Well, your body's definitely fighting something. I mean, the nausea, the malaise, your color all indicate a sickness. But I didn't want to make a diagnosis until I got the blood work back. So what'd you find? Well, her white cell count is way up, but I have not been able to isolate what to look for yet. All right, so if you don't know what you're looking for, then obviously you don't have an antidote. No, not yet. Well, what are you going to do? 
with them. I'm sorry, but until I figure out what is causing the problem, I don't know what kind of treatment to start. Well, you gotta start something, all right? Because everything that Lucy's been through, she's not gonna die. Now, I don't care what it costs, Joe. You get everybody in this hospital on it. Doc, where are you going? I'm gonna find out what Rex gave you if I have to beat it out of him. Tonight, watch Home Improvement, followed by an all-new Soul Man. Then get ready for another Home Improvement and an all-new Grace Under Fire. ABC Tonight. Watch what happens on All My Children today. <laughs>